Um, but yeah, moving on then. So let's go to 2011 again, where I feel like a lot of my picks are from. Uh, but this song is, I think, hand in hand with Summer as well. This song is by uh, Resident Sexy Girl. She was part of the Wonder Girl crew, but she's too sexy. It's true. And her name is Hiena. And her song is Bubble Pop. Breasty, breasties. Um, basically, yeah. Actually, yes. if you see the music video, that's just basically she's pushing the boundaries for boobies in K-pop music videos. And yes, she was. She did push that bubble. Um, so this song is like the when you just hear the song. If you don't see a music video, mm -hmm. it sounds like the cutest, so cute. happiest na, na, song na, na, ever. Na, 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 na. But like, but then you see the video and you're like, oh my lord, yes. yeah. I need a fan. sexiness, right? Um, but that's also, I mean, that's part of the reason we like loving you, right? Because yeah. uh, when you hear it, it just sounds cute and soothing cute and, and great. Sexy. Um, cute, sexy. but then when you see the music video, you're like, oh, sexy, yeah. Um, I mean, why else did you pick this song, Josh? Well, this song was kind of like before I even knew who Four Minute was. I knew who who Hiona was. Four, 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 four minute. I mean, Hiona is all that's left now. A Four Minute, anyway. Yeah, and like I really, really like dove into like Hiona and Four Minute because of this song. Hmm. Yeah. This was your intro to really bubble pop. Bubble pop. It might have been ice cream, but bubble pop was like the one that really grabbed me to give him a, a chance. But so you didn't you didn't really listen to four minute before uh, mm -mm. before that stuff? I have no. I I think when we talked about the four minute retrospective, I don't think I listened to any of those songs at the time of their mm, release, oh, yeah, unless yeah. they're the newer ones, like you know, uh, yeah, the what the pop in, yeah, 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 the pop and all that. Not the uh, not the uh, Shinzo on Tiger. Era. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I also I realized this was also one of the very first songs I remember. Um, I was uh, teaching high school at the at the time in 2011, mm -hmm. and I remember this song. One of my students uh, wanted to watch it. Yeah, like I think I ha I had like a this after school like K-pop. I, I remember thing. the first time I watched this music video, and was I was like, "Fine, okay, new mm -hmm. new Kiona song. I like Kiona, right? Let's go." I mean, I was a little worried because like Kiona. I mean, Kiona's change mm -hmm. was a little, a little racy, racy, right? Yeah, but I was like, I mean, whatever. It's Kiona. It's after school. Who cares? And then this song came up, and I was like. <laughs> This. Yo, this song like really, really blew up. I think internationally also. I like, mean, Asian girl. Yeah, breast. This is like because everybody kind of at that before this song. I think a lot of people were kind of you know comparing like K-pop with kind of like something kiddish and you know that it's like oh it's an like Asian thing. But when everybody saw Hyanna in that you know that white tank top mm -hmm. and that flower dress. Everybody was like, yo, maybe K-pop ain't so bad. Yeah. I was... and e even looking back at this video, it's like, how does she get away with, like, some of the cleavage shots yeah. and the, 
and the like the at the point dance is like her sticking her arms together, together for her pushing breasts her breasts to make the like crevice thing down. Like, yeah, like how did she get this through like, anything? Without a doubt, in my mind, this song brought a lot of people <laughs> into K-pop. Mm -hmm. I remember the first. I think one of the first times I ever heard this song, it was on like a, a gaming stream, and the mm -hmm. guys. Actually, maybe not the first time, but I remember this memory. Uh, someone was like, oh, hey, put this song on. It's K-pop. And this this stream was like, never heard K-pop before. He's like, K-pop? I don't know about that, man. Korean pop. I, I won't understand a thing. But he was like, sure, I'll put it on. He put it on and he was just like, for the next two or three minutes, just silent, just watching it. Like, man, it's pretty good. Hot, hot girls <laughs> He's like, man, it's pretty good. Yeah. Right. And it's weird to me, actually, though, that like, a Just a couple strange. years later, like most people know Hyona internationally because of the her song with Psy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Rather Gangnam than style. rather than Bubble Pop, you know, or her, yeah. her solo stuff. But uh, I, Gangnam Style is also a big song huge uh, that song. came out in the summer, but just not a huge summer sound for us. Yeah, but it is the biggest song of all time in K-pop -pop wise. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it has the most views of, of any music video on YouTube. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Golly. <laughs> I don't know if you're saying wow, like you, you, you're patronizing me or because uh, you didn't know. No, because I, um, I said, when I first said wow, I was actually like, wow. And then I realized how that sounded. <laughs> and I was like, oh, same Gotta face. Gotta be in awe of that. Same, of same that face, side. same golly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I can't, I, I need like, to wow. pretend like I knew that. Um, it's like, wow. Well, speaking of WoW, yeah. um, the next group yeah. is a group that... We say WoW? Sure. <laughs> no, 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 we don't say WoW. <laughs> okay. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, this is a group who have also not done super well in our books recently. No, definitely not. But this is like the epitome of... This is when I noticed this group. Is, is their Sistine Chapel. This is the song that got them to superstar status yeah. in Korea. And uh, it was released in 2013, just three years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, this group is called A-Pink with their song, No, No, No. I chose this song. I chose this song because uh, a when I was choosing my five songs, I I chose one like one from every year or yeah. not every year, but you're trying I, to spread them out. I'm trying to spread them out. Two, right. this song is a good fucking song, yo. And it is still like this and Mr. Chu are still the songs that like I wish they just made those songs back forever. To, yeah, I wish they just made these forever. Um, where it's like. Not the fresh concept, but like still the cutesy, but poppy. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really think there's that many groups doing the no, Except no, for no, like Mr. Chu. 
But that's a totally different sound. The Jufren so. songs are like super um, electronic y and, and, and yeah. much older, much older sounding, I think. Well, at yeah. least previously to uh, Nav- Navarella. I think Navarella. maybe like Navarilla. I think the, con- the concepts is like what really reminds me of it. Right, the schoolgirl. Yeah, not school not girl the, not particularly the sound, but. Uh, but then you, when you compare their dance to G Friend, you're like, damn, A Pink, why are you so slow? So, why are you uh, so bad at dancing? But no, I, I just, I love this song. I still yeah. love this song. I remember listening yes. when this came out just over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. It's just such a good, just everything. So catchy. It's so, and it's so, again, so happy and f- mm-hmm. free and summertime and refreshing mm-hmm. and everything you want for summertime i think this is the problem with doing 10 of these songs because we have the same thing to say for all 10 of them because these songs represent that feeling for us yes sir